lot of contact down there. Talked to Moten about that. I said, how do you, like uh, you like the contact down the post? She said, boy, there's a lot of it. And I'm sure she, I'm sure she doesn't mind that much. No, she doesn't. Merlos taking it to the hole right there. Nice layup there by Merlos under pressure. Knights way out front. 8-18 Eight, to go in the game. Just another travel. M moved, moved the feet before she dribbled the ball. Lots of turnovers for Harford in this ball game. Here's Merlos under pressure from Ogini, and she got it. She's been playing very well. This is probably one, one of her better games of the season, as you see right there. Coach Gasquet and Taisha Moten right there. Moten's got those stars on her shoulder. She's a star in this game for sure. That is for sure. There's Dash Doors, and she banks it in. I don't know. Coach Gasquet, she must have said something in the locker room to really get these women fired up because they are all playing at maybe the best of her ability, the best of their ability in this game. Merlos almost had another one. She's still hustling after it. And there's Dash Doors with a steal. Dash Doors comes into the game and she causes so many problems. She's with so her defense. energetic. She's very athletic. She's got her nose around the ball all the time. And right there, she's diving into a wall, to try to get that uh, that loose ball there. You see? There she goes. Marilyn gets, gets blocked and Dash Doors goes after the loose ball. Weithman coming out of the game. We may have seen the last of Melissa. With 7-11 to go, the Knights enjoying a very large lead, 73 to 25. Melissa Weithman may have played her last minute to the game, but and, we'll see. We'll and Mar see. Marilos tries to take it to the hole again. She gets fouled. She's being aggressive. She's playing a really good game today. Playing with much more confidence than I've seen her this season. And as, as you said, Weithman may have seen her last minutes of this game, but Marilyn Juco has not seen the last of Melissa White. Oh, no. Oh, no. Or this night's team. If they can play with this kind of confidence and this kind of ability and basketball intellect, I think they, they've got a good chance to get out of the regionals and to the nationals. Yes, they're truly playing as a team right now. My only question for them at this point would be depth. Yes, and I think right now this is an opportunity for uh, Coach Gasquet to, to put in some of their lesser used players, like uh, right now Clarence Fahman is in, in the game. Yeah. And this gives them some playing experience to uh, know what it's like. In, you can't replicate in practice how it's going to be in the game, so you put these players in, in games like this to get them used to game action. There's Dash Doors. Cindy Dash Doors is a freshman from Richard Montgomery High School. Uh, Coach Gasquet told me she has a volleyball background and uh, very athletic, obviously. And some friends recommended that she try out for the team. And lo and behold, here she is getting major minutes. And Coach Gasquet should probably take those friends and, and give them a nice pat on the back because she's been a very valuable player on this team. She really has. Merlos resets the offense up. Dash doors. Got another one. Yep. She's had a nice game today. It's really been top to bottom on this roster today. It hasn't been all Melissa Weithman by any means. Oh, no. I think the only player who hasn't scored in this game is probably Fahman, and she still has got six minutes to go right. to try to get in the scorebooks. You're, you're absolutely right. She's the only one who has not scored. And here is uh, Dash Doors getting the ball. She almost lost it out of bounds, but she dribbles in, takes a shot off the dribble, makes a shot. So we've got a timeout on the floor, 6.06 .06 to go in the game. Knights well on top here, 76-25. You can see on the bench right there, Fox is... She's a little bit distraught. I don't know if she's injured or she's just upset about the way the game's going for them right now. 
And there's Coach Tarla Gasquay talking to her troops. Even, even with the point disparity, with the 51 point lead, she's still coaching. That's a sign of a good coach. She, no matter what the score is, whether it's winning by 50, losing by 50, or tied up, you're always coaching. And here's the cheerleaders here on the Rockville campus doing a dangerous stunt, I'll tell you. Yeah, couldn't get me up there. Oh, I'll tell you, me either. No way. I don't know if you can fit me in one of those outfits either. Well, no. <laughs> Joe, I don't think you'd look so good in that outfit. Yeah, well. No offense. I'll have to sit on the sideline with you then. <laughs> So, Fahman stays in, and Weithman remains on the bench. And we've got Fahman's, just under six minutes Fahman's to go in the game. Fahman's posting up strong. Now, Clements Fahman is from Cameroon, and Coach Gasquay told me that she played basketball in Cameroon, but they play a completely different style over there. So she's really having to learn a whole new style of basketball here. So they're working with her a lot. She's working hard. She wants to learn. And she's come a long way in a short time. And I'm sure with the Coach Gasquay and, and her assistants leading the way and, and teaching her how we play in the United States, she'll come along and do quite well here. Well, she looks athletic. She runs pretty well. Oh, nice crossover. Courtney Long with a nice crossover, but she missed the shot. Yeah. It's one thing to cross nice over. That looks really nice. Oh. Again, Jang with a nice pass down low. There's Lee with a little spin move. No uh oh, Fama might have a chance. Oh, nope. no you good. get another opportunity. And she has it taken away. That was a good opportunity for her to get on the score sheet. Yep. Oh, Long loses her footing. And she stops the tire shoot. I don't think that, I don't think that's the thing you want to do when your team's on defense. And there's and Fahman. Fahman gets, everybody in Rockville team is in the scoring column now. There's Fahman on the board. That makes it 78 to 27. Knights obviously going to win this game. And Weifman's on the bench, and looks like uh, Abdu's coming back in. Abdu's going to come in, and she'll replace. Who's going to come and out? There's a nice pass again. Coming in for Fahman. To Fahman. Fahman gets a nice layup right there. Everybody happy for her. And Jang is going to be handling the ball, it looks like, pretty much for the rest of the ball game. She puts one up, and she's fouled. She's had a really good game today, too. And again, everybody on Rockville's had a good game. And you can see right here in the foul, she just takes a pass, one dribble, pulls up for the jumper, and gets fouled on the arm. She gets to the line. Missed the first one. Went to high school in Senegal. Again, another example of the international flavor that we have here at Montgomery College. Over 170 countries represented on our campuses. And this team is another example of that. Player from Cameroon, player from Senegal. Yeah, well, not only do we have players from all over the world, we have players from right down the street. That's right. The dash doors right, right from uh, Richard Montgomery High School around the corner. Great pass by Jang. Oh, oh blew the assist. Good hustle rebound there by Dash Doors. There's Merlos again. Oh. Oh. oh, she got she got mugged she got and hammered. still made it. She got hammered going to the hole on that one Ooh. and just toughed it out. She paid the price on that one. Here she goes. She's going in there, smacked around by two players, laying flat on her back, but the ball goes through the hoop. And that's all that matters. 